Okay, so I'm back working on the four, the Gen 4 6 liter that we honed to 4070. We parallel decked it. It's got new cam bearings, actually all new bearings, all coated, everything real high quality and nice. In the last video, I actually made an error with its current settings and a 51 thou head gasket. We actually have 11.2 to one. And so I'm gonna take this down to a 45 thou head gasket from Kometic. And that's gonna bring us up to about 11 and a half. I think it was 11.6 or something like that. So that'll give him a nice little bump for the street. So today we're going to gap piston rings, check rod bearing clearance and assemble the short block. Because we're building this engine with the ability to run up to a 250, 300 shot of nitrous or a small blower or whatever, um, we're gonna use a steel top ring. These are really high strength. And then we're gonna back it up with a Napier second. And if we remember Napier, basically means it has this little hook on the bottom of it. You can make that out to literally scrape the oil off the bore. So we're gonna get these mocked up in the bores, make sure they're parallel and straight, check our gaps, and then we'll start gapping them. Okay, after checking rod bearing clearance, I'm currently running a standard upper with a one under lower, which is giving us 2.2 to 2.5 thou clearance. I'm super happy with this. It gives us some room. If again, if he wants to run up to a 300 shot of nitrous, this bearing clearance will be perfect. We are running a King narrow bearing. Whoops, that's coated. And next we're gonna hang the CP Carrillo piston rings on these. CP Carrillo Pistons. Okay, the short block is assembled. We got the rings gapped. 
bearing clearance is set, cam is in, timing cover is on obviously, all the new pistons, well, seven old pistons, one new piston, everything is put back together. Again, this engine originally was an LS3 that dropped a valve on what was this old piston, so we ordered a new one to replace it. Next, I'm gonna pop the oil pan on, windage tray and pickup, and then uh, that'll wrap it up for the short block. Okay, the short block is all complete on this 377 cubic inch Gen 4 six liter iron block motor. Next, we've got our Kometic 45 thou head gaskets in stock. I'm gonna get these slapped on. I've already checked the cylinder heads. They are awesome. We'll keep on rocking. Okay, there it is. That is a wrap on this 377-60 turned into an LS3 going into a C5 Z06. It's probably about a 600 horse motor. Actually, he's putting a high ram on it. So I'd venture to say somewhere around the 620, 630 horse. Of course, on we're talking crank horsepower at the wheel. I'm curious to see what it makes, but I kind of did something different in this video where I just filmed full time lapse and then came back and kind of narrated it um, after the fact. Let me know how you guys like it compared to the previous video of this engine where I'm kind of narrating things as I'm building it live. Um, just kind of trying different things and see what works out there for these style of videos. But anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.